I don't know if I did that the right way, but um, <laughs> we're back. Uh, we have just finished a crazy encounter that was actually pretty close to very dangerous for some people um, <laughs> with Yan C. Bin at the final node, the air node, which has now been closed um, with Yolantha launching the final artifact into it, which we know destroys the artifact and closes the node itself. Um, immediately following that, you will all feel uh, an, an earthquake. Everything around you is shaking. But um, unlike the first time you experienced this, it lasts for more than just a few seconds. Ooh. And over the first few seconds that it lasts, it gets very much stronger. So everybody, please make a dex save. <sighs> cool. I need to run. 20. Yeah. 11. Oh. What? Oh no. Okay. Um, oh, oh, this is no. this is I can see this. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Um, well wait. Never mind. Nope, that's it. Cuz I'm deafened. Well, you can still see it. it. You can still see it happening. Mm -hmm. I get, okay. I don't know. That's a weird thing because it says not blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. So I don't know if that oh. has to be like oh. on the other mm -hmm. thing. That yeah, would make it go away. Um, yeah, so you do not, you, you're you going to be at normal for this roll. Okay. Oh, and you already rolled it. Um, okay. So Taryn, Cal, and Whirl. Um, the impact, uh, like, immediately after it starts, it, like, no, wait, this is a bad description. Uh, it, like, increases in intensity over a few seconds, and then you feel this jolt. Um, like, imagine... Imagine an enormous, enormous boulder dropped onto the ground right next to you. Hmm. Not unlike, like, being on a trampoline and a person much heavier than you, like, jumps on right next to you. The ground Double jolts bounce. so much from this, what feels like an impact, uh, that you three fall to the ground, and then it stops. And Yolantha is also on the ground, like, scrambling to pick herself up, and then just looks at the rest of you and asks if you're okay. Could be better. <laughs> hmm. I think I think I'm just gonna stay here for uh, for a second. Just continue laying on the ground. Bert is fully on the ground, <laughs> like arms sprawled, just like that existential dread, eyes wide open, going. I almost died. How would I save everyone if I almost die? Mm -hmm. I can't do that again. How? How did I almost die? I don't die. Other, <laughs> other people, and then I do the, then I heal, and then I don't die. Is she saying this out loud, or is this like yeah? Out of I mean, no, yeah, she's okay here. Again, like, like, imagine someone just like staring off into space, just like muttering to themselves, like, no, you don't die. How the fuck did you let yourself die? You know? Yeah. I think we're all just humming and playing with their ears, trying to get it to come back. Like, oh, we can do this. This is fine. <laughs> just like trying to like hit different things and see how she can like, because she's popped her ears too hard before. Like, this is. We're we're gonna get out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna say by the time uh, by the time you've done that for a little bit, I'll say the the minute is up now. Great. So deafening is Thank gone. God. I think. Uh, oh god. Okay, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like recognizing that we can all talk to one another again, and like hearing Gert going through this. I think Iz would like walk over to Gert and like extend a hand to try and pick her up. 
uh, her shadow would like reach Gert before she would, uh, but like just extend a hand. Everyone's gonna die eventually, but not right now. Not if any of us can help it. You're okay. All that sucked. It's gonna continue to hurt. No, but but seriously though, Taryn, how <laughs> how how do you do this every day and just fucking get up? Like that that was that's fucking terrifying. And you, I, you are the strongest person I know. You are officially the strongest fucking person that I know. Because if you can go through that as much as you do, and it just doesn't fucking phase you, how? How? Who are you? Okay, I, I know I'm smiling. That's just, that's because I'm enjoying this. Karen is not actively smiling at this moment. This is, um, I would like, I'm like me making my way over there. I would be like levitating, uh, like I would expend another one of my flight things, and I'd be levitating just off of the ground, still on my back. Um, <laughs> it's. <laughs> I know, listen, I know, I know it, 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 it sucks, it sucks the first time, it sucks so much. Uh, but honestly, the, the best possible answer that I could give right now is that I was, personally for me, it was more of an expectation that or it was shown as more of a possibility when I was um, learning, you know, how to use my magics. Because, you know, when I, being a light domain, I would be more, it was, um, it was more focused on offense and kind of being more vulnerable to battle. So maybe it was, again, I can't give probably the answer that you're looking for, but the best guess that I have right now is that maybe there is just like a part that expects it to happen at some point. And don't get me wrong, this how you're handling this is like, it's extremely normal and it's okay. It is, it, it is, it honestly, it still is terrifying, but um, You know, we have other stuff, and I try not to think about it that much. Y'all, I'm not going anywhere tonight. I can't. I can't right now. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yep, yeah, I'll, uh, hey, Whirl. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up the dome. Actually, okay. although DM, is it even close tonight? I feel like it's, it's noon. Like noon thirty. Uh, it's it's like early afternoon. Yeah. You can absolutely take a breather and like short rest even multiple times. Uh, sure. Yeah. In, in that case, I probably won't throw up the dome, but um, I will stand up. Uh, I'll like unpack like some of the stuff that I have, like the uh, the donut holes in like the box that I just like, kind of throw that open and say, uh, "All right, let's uh, let's have a snack." I think that's probably the best thing that we can do right now. I'll like gesture Yolanta over and be like, I think we're powwowing. We're gonna hang out in a circle of friendship uh, over on that side. 
Um, and I will very slowly make my way over because I can't walk very fast right now. Uh, yeah, she'll join over here. Hang on, this corner here. Someone remind me to buy like three bottles of wine since when we're in Waterdeep, so that's for the next time we go somewhere, so that we can just like let me have it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, and like also after <laughs> snacks. Gert's feeling saucy right now. And so uh, she's gonna look over at like Yolanta and go, Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been doing my research and uh Made sure to time that just right with your arrival. So, oh, go ahead, Gert. This is this is your stuff. This is your uh... no. Is it's <laughs> but how how would you know what you have? You are apparently like one of the most <laughs> intensely magical people in the world ever uh, were you well, were you ever going to tell us this what? not if i didn't have to omissions are betrayals i know i hear the voices again i knew it would be tricky but uh in order to return, I needed a portal. Your name is in a creepy book. You're in a list of planeswalkers. Oh, well, that cat's out of the bag, I suppose. But I yeah. knew that if I could trick him into believing that he was doing it on his own, that he would not discover me in my journey. Him being him. the one you just disposed of. So did he hitch a ride on your portal or did you hitch a ride on his? Lucky for me, he did not see me at all. <clears throat> he was attempting to do this on his own and I suspect you already know that's not possible, at least by means that we know of. And it seems that he did not yet have his help from the other side, so I gave him some extra oomph from his. So you so allowed you him, him to here. get here? Knowing that you would be here to receive and send him back and allow me the portal to come back myself as well, that is a risk I calculated, yes. Did I've that have to happen? <laughs> cool. In order to come, I don't give a shit. I'll fucking push in. I don't give a shit right now. We can plane shift. You're gonna tell. I'm gonna say. You're going to tell us everything right now, and I'm going to cast unsettling words, (laughs) so that this bitch fails whatever, whatever fucking thing she thinks she's gonna try and hide from us. Zone of truth. Yeah, zone of truth. I don't. I don't. I do. I do. (laughs) I'm doing it. I'm. I'm throwing out the zone of truth. Just everywhere. Everyone can get it. All right. She's still, she's, I hope she's unsettled. I hope this like tiny little pissed off, tired as shit blue thing yeah. really scares her. <laughs> um, does she have to make a save for that? Uh, charisma save, I believe. For and she's subtracting a D10, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent, yes. Yes, yes. charisma save. I knew it would happen. I knew it would work out. It didn't. I thought I'd be dead by now. Um, but hey, it worked out. Yo? So she failed. <laughs> and I know that and I know that she tried to resist because she made the saving throw. <laughs> okay. Wait, this no, this was unsettling words, not the uh not the zone of truth. Right, but unsettling words is is her subtract like is the bardic inspiration of her subtracting a D10 from her neck. Oh, throw. I'm so fucking mixed up. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um she wouldn't have tried to resist. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I wasted another one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, okay. Let's have a conversation under a night sky. And then I'll just like, <laughs> I shoot my finger up and like, there's like an overcast of like the, you know, the stars. 
I can uh, understand your frustrations and and mistrust for the moment, but I assure you, given how drained I was from the journey, this was the only way I knew I could get back, and I made sure to time it well with your arrival so that we had our best chance of making sure that he was sent back himself. Right. But we have Gert and I are both able to go to other planes. Like it is like you being obviously a very powerful mage could have, should have some form of contacting others. Like we would have been willing to help. We oh, try contact. Yeah. We tried to reach out to you over and over and over again, and you, you never responded. I can assure you that I was never aware of any attempted contact. Right, you blocked yourself so hard we couldn't even get close to contacting you. A side effect of stealing myself against the more dangerous denizens of the abyss and other planes that I had to go through. So why didn't you reach out instead of trying to find another, instead of using this obviously more dangerous path? Or like leave a note with anyone? Oh, the note was what left with the appropriate people at the academy. Was it though? Cause they sure seemed shocked as hell too that you were just yeah. walking around in all of the mm -hmm. places. Perhaps not the very same people that you are directly in contact with. What people are you in contact with? I cannot share that information. That's a fact. Were you waiting for us in Red Larch? Like you knew we would come through? Uh, help me over the table. What instance are you talking about? Just like, like when having we showed a, up. Like the yeah. first time you yeah. got there? Yeah. yeah, like when this uh, ragtag bunch of idiots suddenly were like, hey, can we chat? Oh, no. It was soon after that that I received the information that led me to take this journey in the first place. Hmm. Lucky for you then. What are you looking for? And like, why, why are you, why do you feel it necessary to go through all these other planes right now? I was looking for this. And she extends her epic staff of epicness. Is it cool? Is it super cool looking? That's super cool. Does it look super cool? Is it a super cool thing? I remember oh, pinging it before, it, but it, I'll, it, I'll ping it again. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Where'd you find it? Staff of awesomeness pings. <laughs> super duper cool staff. Oh, this guy. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, yes, I've heard of this. It's referred to as the Staff of Magnus, I believe. <laughs> yep. I believe uh, that whatever <laughs> journey you are on, is one that I should assist with in any way that I can. And in order to do so- Do you know what journey so, we're on? Well, the Academy tells me that you have some time traveling angel involved and a dragon that seems to be trying to pave his own way into another realm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he has. Yeah because this whole pathway conversation that Yancey just had with us and how the pathway's already open and Astaroth fucking wins in every time. It seems hey, that all they needed was the knowledge of different places to connect through in order to create a new plane for himself. But in tandem with the abyss, Why the Abyss, I do not know. Is, guys, do we know if Azeroth is a humanoid person? I believe the words Great Worm, Astaroth have happened at some point. Sounds but right. I could be so, wrong on that. He has been so, referred to as a dragon and a Great Worm directly several times, yeah. Okay. Yo, great, good, awesome. Cool. Whoa. Azeroth's our dragon, cool. Um, yeah! Uh, okay. 
And did you... Did you stop mid question? Are you, are you I, did, I did, okay. I did, I did, I did stop mid question. I was like, because uh, because well, real life me was like, wait a minute. Hard. Real yeah. life me was like, wait a minute. There is stuff we haven't told people. Um, oh no, because we I think we did reveal that at some point, didn't we? When we were talking with you, the, revealed uh, what? Uh, what the court of undeath? I believe at some point. We've not told that to anybody because we we've not, all like right. actively right. been like, we need to lock the shit down because it's the elves. Right, and then, because we, and then we learned about, I'm pretty, we learned about the pact with Orcus during the Court of Undeath, uh, I believe. We, the first time we heard Orcus's name was before we talked to the Court of Undeath, I believe the first time we were in the Academy, because we re-brought up the uh, stuff in the first, in the Necromancer's Cave, mm -hmm. in the quarry. And right. they were like, oh my god, it's Orcus. And that's the first time we learned about Orcus. Right. But I don't gotcha. remember if they talked about Orcus when we were talking to the Court of Undeath. Because they didn't say anything. Cool. So they did not. This is reasonable. Um, and, and quick clarification, it is the Court of Death. Uh, no, sorry. That's court, right. Uh, court of the Dead. Court of, of the Dead? Of, of okay, the Dead. The Court of Undeath is not. And, that's something to believe. Yeah. And, and that Orcus. is a lawful good entity. Right. Mm. Like, I know that sometimes gets confusing because a lot of people just assume death equals bad, but the court of death is actually a lawful good entity. And Gert and Taryn mm -hmm. would know that, at least in Fair. character, um, along with the rest of the, you know, the, the domain of death is not necessarily an evil thing. There is a mm -hmm. lawfully good place for it in this universe. Yeah. Lymore is a good cleric who is a great, who is of the grave, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but uh, anything undeath is always evil, period. Evil. <laughs> Not always. There's one person in this group who is of undeath, and she ain't evil at all. No. I mean, no. the origin <laughs> of the power might be. <laughs> yeah, but that, that doesn't make her evil. <laughs> yeah, she's not evil. And, yeah, we don't know this. This is this is an Andrea's beef, power. not a world. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we don't... You're right, yep. Anyways, in case um, you guys couldn't tell, <laughs> this exchange is going to be a very big test and stretch of not only our notes but our memories. <laughs> uh, what was that? A test of notes? Hold, please. Yeah. Uh, pulls up Google Doc. I, um, I know that I mean, Andrea actually, will be so, a stronghold in this one. <laughs> yeah. I I told Sam this for sure, and everyone else has access to it. But I have been scanning my notes and putting them in a Google. A uh, folder that is also where you can get the calendar. So you can access all of them. Are they good? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> They're there. They um, exist. Yes. Um, so, okay, here's here's a theory. Um, so, Orcus, uh, Demon Prince of Undeath, right? Oh. I'm, 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 oh, did you not know that? Did, was that not part of your knowledge? Well, that would explain the uh, desire for the abyss, I suppose. But yeah, what about funny. him? Well, the... Um, so if... What if... In, you know, this quest for power, you know, it's inevitable that something like immortality would cross someone's mind who's seeking to you know rule over whatever some kind of plane or area for an extended amount of time you know why wouldn't immortality cross them uh, cross one's mind when pursuing such a such a path right so who's to say that azeroth didn't make some kind of deal with orcus in exchange for some sort of immortality elixir or spell or access to more time hmm. infinite well, time this this theory would uh connect many dots that it seems we've all found i don't think it sounds quite so far-fetched have you seen this astaroth or experienced Orcus for yourself or any of their interactions? 
Yes and yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, and kind so- of soft yes on the second part. Because we have we've seen a vision of Orcus just before we uh got fully involved in this, but uh we've seen who we presume is Azeroth in our dreams. In your dreams, you say? Yes. Yes, we've had a we've had a couple of shared dreams of being slaughtered by a black dragon. So he is already plane shifting himself. Is there a plane of dreams? There is indeed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> There's that can of worms open and it's all, all over the ground. All right. Oh no, they're worshiping. Oh, shit, it's gross. Worms. Shit, shit. <laughs> I get it back in the can. I can't handle this. I think he has help though. With Orcus. It, right. Well, but also with. Have you heard of Elminster or Bigby or. Uh, oh. Mordenkainen. Morden I've Morden heard Morden? stories of Bigby and Mordenkainen. Mort the Cannon. He even acquired some knowledge of Mordenkainen's writings directly and some of my own magic and knowledge. But Elminster, I thought to be long dead. See, here's the weird thing, because I got this weird book, and it actually um, uh, seems like he wrote a foreword for it, but the foreword was written five years. Ten years later. Ten from years today. from today. Um, and it's a lot. Um, but I also am questioning if they're in our brains. We've also met them as wraiths. It's a problem. We've also a couple seen them of become times. the We've wraiths seen them multi- later. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're like out of sync with time They're every out time, of time we interact with them. They're not yeah, out of time. Yeah, they've literally said. There's literally another part, part where they have, we ha- they say we have all the time we need. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yikes, I found doodle. it recently. Yeah, These yeah, agreed. These are very dangerous implications. And this has been shared with the headmasters of the academy. Most of it, not the uh, specific parts about um, becoming immortal yet, because that just happened here. Mm. I mean, I feel like the immortality was like implied. It's it, it, uh, it, it, because it why else would you create your own plane? Right. Yeah. yeah. But we haven't ex- explicitly like discussed this theory. Very powerful beings do have an annoying habit of seeking out life longer than that is natural. So it is not outside the realm of easy assumptions. This is troubling news indeed. So you as a planeswalker, I can call you that, right? Like, they were, like, we're not in the company of anyone who's listening. Is it okay if I you use may. that word? Okay. So, would so you being a planeswalker, would you know of like the capabilities of transporting others along along with you, or instead of you, or like would like would you have knowledge on being able to? Um, have others travel instead of yourself. The means by which I know how to transport myself without any sort of external physical connection like this, pointing at the what remains of the node, are restricted to myself and myself alone. I would not know though if another could work with others. I've never met another for myself. How do you know when you meet one? I'd have to see them do it. 
What do you makes... think? Oh, Sorry. you go ahead. No, you go ahead. Mine's your yours is probably better than mine. Um. Do you think that Braylon could be a planeswalker? Like, there's so much spooky ass shit about how we found him, and like, spoiler alert, he does magic, which you know. Is there like any chance he's got like a vibe of like more than we already think we know about him? You've spent the most time around him. Oh, he's far from the first child I've ever come across with my own eyes that is talented and gifted in the magical ways from a very early age. I would have no... I have no recollection of anything that he's done or experienced that would tell me he might have such capability. But in my case, it was learned over a very long period of time, study, and practice, so who's to say for sure? What makes someone a planeswalker? Or is it just the ability to travel across planes? For some people, such as yourselves, you mentioned, uh, she's indicating to Taryn and Gert, Enough time and practice and studies of magic allows you to expend some amount of energy temporarily to transport yourself in such a way, but it is taxing and requires resources. For someone like myself, it simply does not. It's a little bit different than simply casting a spell. It's more How did you of... figure? Sorry. <laughs> it's more of. How should I say? Having almost a physical connection to these other spaces that I can reach out and grab whenever I choose. Although now Is in that... my age and. <laughs> Sorry, Andrea. I'm gonna wait. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just sneak down here and wait. Although now, between my age and the difficulties of the environment I just came back from, it seems that is increasingly difficult to do. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, you're fine. Uh, I mean, my question was, how did you... Like, yeah, you, you said you could reach out and, like, feel the other planes. Is that how you figured it out? She's going to close her eyes and think for a moment. Hand her the paper. <gasps> what paper? Oh, the, the paper, the, 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 the magical idea, paper the that Iz has. It tells you all the things. Oh. Like, it's your brain. Your brain thinks. Brain thinks magic paper. You going to do that? Yeah. <laughs> if you think about a thing, it will show up on the paper and then we can all see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got this from the academy. We got it from the, be, <laughs> yes, yes. We got it from the academy. <laughs> It's not oh, spooky lovely. paper, and you apparently trust them. So, so she'll not grab the ones the paper. that we trust. <laughs> um, she'll grab the paper and look at it uh, inquisitively, and you'll see <laughs> a few images, up. just like <laughs> just a page of dicks, um, <laughs> all dicks everywhere. <laughs> um, you'll see some images start of like her at a desk with books, but then like halfway through the image showing up it'll be like it's erasing itself um and then maybe another of her talking with an, another person sometimes an elf sometimes a human sometimes you know various other races but there's like seven or eight different instances of her books and papers in hand clearly talking with another person but the same thing happens like uh, it, the image gets halfway drawn on and then sort of erases away. It's like she's cycling through memories to try and remember precisely the answer to your question. Um, everybody make a an insight check, please. Yes. With this advantage. <laughs> For Karen. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, 15 still. That is a nat 20, baby. Yeah. That's an 11. Cal's having a, having a time. Oh. Cal, you're seeing all these images kind of like just flash across the paper and it's just like, 
what? <laughs> um, it's like you're using one of those, uh, I forgot what they're called, but you hold them up to your face and there's a like reel of film in there. You flick the button and it goes in the next <laughs> side, but it's just the same two images. Yeah. What are those called? Shit. I can't remember it either. I want to say etch a sketch, but that's wrong. No. <laughs> no. Viewfinder. Yeah. 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 Um, I was going to be so mad if I didn't remember that. Taryn, were you at disadvantage? <laughs> I am because of my, uh, uh, my exhaustion. Okay. So is 17, Gert 27. Taryn, 15, mm-hmm. Cal 2, World, 11. Mm-hmm. Um, is you're going to get this enough that it makes sense. Gert, you're like, this has to be it. Um, and the rest of you are kind of like foggy at best. Uh, the thing that you two get is she's remembering things that she knows have contributed to her abilities overall but having a hard time like landing on what precisely is the point that she could plane shift um, and and like at will and not by casting a spell. You'll see a, a memory flash across the paper of her actually casting a spell and then boop, pops up in a different plane of existence and she's like surprised. Um, and then another image will flash where she simply sits down, closes her eyes, folds her hands, and then another image of her being in that position in a different place. And in that Mm. instance, she did not cast a spell. Interesting. So she'll stop with the paper and hand it back and say, I'm having a hard time connecting the dot. I haven't really thought about it much since I gained the ability until now. I'm gonna try something. Uh, uh, Dear Lord of Justice, please, if you can, show me how to plane shift at will and I'm gonna roll my divine intervention. Yo. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh. Bummer. Surprise. <laughs> it's a good, relatively low number, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys, he's not answering because he's busy. <laughs> Please hang up and dial again. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, I, was trying to think of a, I was trying to think of the sound, but it, like, it just wouldn't. Oh, it's so good. Um, Angry internet sounds. <laughs> so... <laughs> 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 Gert, go ahead. Uh, Quick, everyone I'm... be a modem. Quick, someone explain what a modem is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Gert's going to pull out the Celestial Journal. Uh, Ooh. And hand it to Yolanta. And say, What can you read? She's going to take it and turn through the pages and say, this appears to be empty. The Celestial Journal? And I'm going to open it up to the page with her name on it. Oh. And I'm going to point to it. I'm going to say, this is your name right here. What spell is on this book? Nothing. Seeing that you guys respond that way, she's going to begin casting a spell herself. Ooh. And hold the book again. (laughs) (laughs) That's for that's for bringing you here now. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) No. (laughs) Uh, And and take the book again and stare a little bit more intensely at the spot that you point out. Oh. That is my name. Oh. But that is all I can see. I imagine that's not all there is. No, it's... It seems to be sort of a... A notebook, a... A, a jotting down of 
ideas. Um, it is written in celestial, uh, and we, I was able to read a section and then as different people touched it, more of it revealed itself to me. See, but there is no spell on this. Book. There is no spell that we can find. It's, and it also seems that the revelations of what's written comes when someone who is closely connected to death makes contact with it. That's one thing that we've been able to discover. Oh, right, because of uh, the the ne necromancer, necromancer and uh, Lymura. 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 Mm -hmm. I did not make that connection. <laughs> I didn't either. Um, and I guess it would also make sense for me because because of Osiris. This is an astute mm -hmm. observation. Just confirming no more of the book has revealed itself after this exchange. Correct? Correct. Okay. For the shot. Has Is touched the book? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We both book touched because I was like, is it just any deity? And we were just like touching things because we both had like wildly differing mm -hmm. magical sources. Right, right, right. We have life. We have a grave cleric and then necromancy. Right, but we also have Osiris, Kellenbor, and a necromancy cleric teacher. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going. I'm going over the um, like these specific connections themselves ah. because there's life, the you know the stage before death, or like the protect protector air quotes of it. Um, and then there's grave, which is I suppose would be like an escorting or a uh, respecting of death. Mm -hmm. Right. And then necromancy, which is the, um, like the abolishment of death. Or like are the there defiance of it. Are there so, still blank pages of it? Yeah, so what I, what I wrote okay. down was scattered throughout the book, random words, and the way that I'm imagining it is that they're like the titles of those pages, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like a random little word, but it is scattered throughout the book, fire, water, earth, wind, death, wizards. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have learn about death, undo death and practicing dying. Um, and then research elements to tap into the elemental planes. Mm -hmm. uh, and Big B, Mordenkind, and Enyolanta. Yep. That is all the information that I currently have written down about the journal. If my notes are correct, that is all the information that you have at all about. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Practicing this is total, you know, existential thing I'm going to throw out there, but practice dying. What if that means this is, I'm just throwing, I'm again, shot in the dark. Do it. Yeah. What, uh, at the wall. what if, uh, what if Azeroth dying? is what triggers the loop again. So then therefore he's able to live eternally. It's a good point. That's a terrible way to live your life. <laughs> it, is, it is. But but... If he, but he but he knows what's going on every time. Like he's always in he's the loop. He's just waiting for that one shot where it does work. 
Practicing death seems like a crude and short description for deep necromancy that sounds very concerning to me. It's a phrase I've heard before. Where? You tell. In the notebooks of famous liches. Of course. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. cool. I, yeah. I wonder, it seemed very litchy because all of the, like, sentence structure about what he's doing we got from a friend. And can dragons be liches? Who's an angel now? Think about that. Answer. We've talked about, there's a, yes, it's called a break. There was a thing. There was a point where we had this conversation. <laughs> uh, is, is that a character question, Taryn? Uh, Taryn would ask, like, the direct question, can a dragon become a lich? I believe that they are among the most capable of becoming liches if they so chose. Do you know anything about a great worm? Or, like, the like the, uh, the title of great and then something as a... that, fo- that is followed, or that follows a beast's name? know that is followed by a beast's name um, well for others it may be different but i know that a great worm would be well they come in different forms and flavors but it's essentially a dragon that has reached such age and innate power that they can tap into the existence of their other selves in different worlds that, that makes, makes sense. Familiar. sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gross. Yup. He's got all the fucking time he needs. <laughs> Red pulled. All right. Cool. So. What, what I shit still, to the board. <clears throat> what I still don't understand is how I'm fucking connected everywhere. Ooh. Are you, are you gluten free? (laughs) (laughs) Coughing and laughing. So much. In this moment, yes. Okay. Uh, Your other. But as soon as we get back to Red Large, just nomin on them donuts. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. You're okay. Oh, it hurts to sit up. Not real life, me, <laughs> Taryn. Um, uh, Welcome to 30, my friend. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, yes. Um, so, the, the drow talked about seeing you from their timelines and where they came from. What if a, not you, or rather an alternate you? It doesn't matter. They're all me. Right. They're all you, but it and, might not necessarily be you now. And not only are they all me, but according to whatever shithead keeps talking in our brains. It's very shitheads. The one regardless, the guy. Yeah. according to them, it's always my fault. Always. Which means in whatever all of these worlds are, every fucking time this happens, and they made me see it. But your God told you it wasn't your fault. He did. And not to he say did. that I trust your God over like a bunch of like disembodied fuck off voices, but <laughs> I being maniacally non-religious do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's also, it's obvious. I, at least I feel like it was supposed to be a scare tactic or a way to make us lose focus on what was going That's on. That's fine. But someone showed me 
someone showed me the fucking dragon over right. my town. And what truly, at the at the skill level and age that you were, would you have been able to do against a dragon? I, I fully understand that. All I'm saying is, I was shown a black dragon over my town. We're not. We are seeing a black dragon. We're not the first ones to experience these exact same events, right? Allegedly. So. Also probably happened about a thousand years ago. If Gert is the one thing standing in Azeroth's way, it would make sense for him to eventually attempt to get rid of her before she could become an issue. So if we're saying that he's part of this loop and that he's coming back, we don't know if those other Gerts experienced like the same life growing up. Maybe you, um, I motioned to Gert, maybe you were the first one to actually have had your home be burned down. Or maybe I'm the first one to survive. Maybe. Because we, because we never, yeah, because those other Gerts could also have had entirely different lives and have been burned. Like they could have still because been Because none of village. those, none of those drow knew me as an old woman. Yes, one of them did. One of, one of them did? Okay. Yeah. Of them it did. was like it was like baby but, child but roughly you your born, current age and ye oldie person okay and if you but if you were like if you were born x amount of years earlier maybe you were still in that village at that time and you would have and then that could have happened but but i i'm personally sticking more strongly to the Milata, have we talked to you about this <laughs> No, we have not. I don't think we have. I no. think she's a... So this is a weird thing that happened. Um, we met some drow, right? Yeah, you know those weird four guys just kept hanging out with the constable? Spoiler alert, they're drow. Yeah. Yeah, they're good guys. We like them. Uh, but they all came from different times. Okay. Oh, Roughly, dear. Roughly a hundred years in the... No. A thousand years in the future? Like 500 to a thousand years? Yeah, like pretty up there. Um, so it's a, it's a whole thing. And um, every single one of them knew me. Well, the, in uh, their time. The time traveling aspect is uh, frankly forbidden magic that even I did not risk dabbling in, but I do know that the multiverse is something we know frighteningly little about. They didn't make this choice. They were kind of pulled, so we don't blame them. This is not on them. <laughs> but how the fuck do they know me a thousand years from now? How do they know my mother a thousand years from now? This makes no sense. No, it's... To say it's puzzling would be an understatement, yes. Gert, this. So, oh, go ahead, Terry. Go ahead. I was. I was gonna say. Um, does your book say anything about reincarnation or anything of that sort? Not yet. Or maybe like soul. <laughs> no. Okay. Unless it hasn't, y'all uh, read something that I didn't. I that's that's an might. honest guess. Like I'm like. I think does it. Does it? Might. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Because I know there's like some stuff in Morning Canaan about like. I just oh, read briefly. Oh, just which like, book? Because she's got two books now. That's what I meant. I meant the uh, the Tome Okay. Morty. Tome you definitely have read through the section that specifically about elves talks about an eternal soul and reincarnation into multiple mm. bodies over long periods of time. Ew. Okay. I just glazed over that. Yeah. And then like the That's dreams from me. memory, like at least in the elven case mm -hmm. most of the time their dreams are actually memories and they might be yeah. memories of past and possibly memories of future yeah i do remember reading that one okay 
So, I am fully aware that this is a complete shot in the dark. And I am fully aware that this may do more harm than good. But for the first time in my life, I want to go back to Deep River. Do you mean all of us here and now? It it doesn't have to be right now. It, I mean, (laughs) that's a, that is a very long journey. (laughs) We can make it happen. Do we have teleportation magic? Yeah, (laughs) multiple of us do, maybe, possibly. Well, I, I in mean, any case, all of this sounds like something that we'd rather discuss in more comfortable, familiar spaces. Would you agree? Yeah, but but comfortable, familiar spaces might be listening to us, and at least now we're in like a spooky, spooky doom cave where like there's no one else around. <laughs> so we can say whatever the fuck we want. Fuck, fuck shit, cocks, and like no one's gonna hear us. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, I at least personally would like to get back to the comforts of home for a moment. Feel free to join or I can meet you there. And she'll take a few steps over this way, tap her staff on the ground twice, and you'll see from the point of impact um, a bunch of runes of light just start emanating out into a circle. Right, which home are we going to? Yeah. Don't just fucking leave us. Yeah, like, hold, please. Give us like 10 <laughs> fucking seconds to make up our minds. You're welcome to mind. join me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm what the hell are you limping. going to? I'm just, I'm just going to start limping over there. Uh, guys, I got, I, I don't want to be here. I want to have a bed. <laughs> I'm happy to take you wherever you choose. The moon. Just kidding. I mean, I'm assuming her home is the red large. So I assume, <laughs> assume we're going to, to the red large. Are we doing a red large? Are going, yeah, are you going to Red Larch or are you going to the school? Academy. That is your choice. Uh, Red Larch is fine. Let's go, to, let's go to Red Larch. Tag team home base for like a hot second. We yeah. did. We did tell your. Uh, we did tell your son that we would let him know if we saw you, and uh, I think this would be better than just telling him. Yeah. Oh, that is a kind thought. Okay. I will Let's also very slowly start walking over because I lack the ability to walk any faster. <laughs> okay. Calling the line. The I'm teleportation. Uh, Callie, Callie where, where are you at with all this? <laughs> I'm He's joining everybody. The fuck here. Okay. No, I'm, I'm taking it all in, and yeah, I'll, I'll join I in with everybody. Need some time alone, everyone. I'm I going mean, to frankly, walk home. Valid. Uh, <laughs> we are See you in a fucking week. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man. Adios. Okay. Oh my god. Good um. So you're all in the circle. Mm-hmm. And Yolanta will give another gentle tap on the ground, and you've been through this kind of thing before. You'll see the runes light up and then shoot up around you into the sphere of light, or sphere, uh, cylinder of light, um, and feel a familiar tug as you are about to be teleported. However, uh, the next moment, everything goes dark around you. I'm dead, guys. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm what, the, what the shit? What's happening? I don't want it. Wait. I'm sorry, the Lady Yolanta, but I must intercept. What? what? <laughs> it's the guy. It's our friend. It's, yeah. Is it him? It's him. Hey, uh... You feel a, a, a pull, like, off to your, like, going left to right, like, on an escalator or, like, an airport escalator the, thing the, instead the, of the, just the, a... Yeah. Walking. Yep. The, the, um, the side run. Yep. Yes. And for a moment, you are going to see the angel. 
Hey. <laughs> Can you have given us literally any warning? You have all this fucking time on your hands. You're gonna see him. He has. Uh, you're gonna see him appear with like a swipe of his hand in front of himself, so it's like wiping off a mirror, and you're gonna see him in the space around him as it swipes across like that. He is flying in the air right now, and behind him is a massive area of fire and char and smoke. And Gert, you get a sinking feeling in your gut. Oh no. And you can hear the screaming roar of a dragon behind him. Yo. I'm sorry that I cannot yet give you more. This is the last time I can find you. It will now be your turn to find me. The sword of law will guide you. And you see the maw of Astaroth approach from behind and breathe fire, disintegrating your friend. You will reappear very much not where you expected. No. Oh, I need to load map. But instead... <laughs> this is a freaking uh, horizon. Okay. Oh? Here. Oh? What the shit? Excuse me, I did not... This oh, is not I where I paid for my Uber to be. <laughs> forgot Yolanta's token. <laughs> Come on over, Yolanta. I've um, taken no notes. Yeah. So I'm going to have to rewatch this. I have no fucking anything written cool. down. I have sword. And they are blacked and out. And of a dragon. <laughs> Can anybody not see? It's see. a very small, like, sliver of the map that we're on, though. I can see a lot of everything. Yeah, it's yeah. very well. A massive map. <laughs> Wait, are, do I have your tokens in multiple places? No. No, no you so. should be, you should be uh, right yes, here on these pages. I do see right this. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the very space tall. you're in is mostly foreign, but passive perception of... 19. 19. Oh, I thought you were asking for the number. Uh, Taryn, you actually feel like you're back into the, the uh, different <laughs> section of the central area between all the temples. Oh, the okay. the level that like connect. If you went down in any of the temples, you ended up in this space, and then you found the uh, nodes so from the, there. The communal area. Yes. Okay. Is... And go ahead, Sam. Is this where the wedding was? No. No, no. Well, oh, that was on a mountain, and it was like facing the other way. Yeah, yeah. in a different direction. Um, you'll appear here, and Yolanta is going to look very surprised, and immediately, like she's going to see what's going on uh, to your west, and look at all of you, and just upon entry, you hear blood curling screams from two men and you can see those two people at a very familiar looking altar both doing something with their hands to themselves falling to their knees screaming in pain and over a few seconds you will see blood start to pour pretty much everywhere and the next moment you will see uh, this sort of sparking and then lightning bolts of, and uh, you know, strikes of electricity emanate between the two pillars, forming a very familiar eye. And then you will hear a voice, not in your heads, but if, as if it is addressing them directly. Your rituals are now complete. As promised, you now have untold powers from spaces you cannot even find yourself. Now fulfill your promises to me and Astro. It's cutting out. We're only getting a cut. Cutting out. Yeah. yeah, you like, it's like almost. Oh, really? You. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. I kind of wrote it down. It was like gone. It's part of it. Part of it's muted. We can't hear it. Yeah. Now fulfill your promises to me and Astaroth. Still no. 
Still Damn not. it. Yeah. Nothing. I know. just barely. It's like a cool, gain or something. Yeah. 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 I'll just yeah. say it, but it's the demonish yes. voice. I, I have <laughs> the feeling. Cool. I'm having oh, those bad feelings. Yeah. Damn it. That sucks. Okay, I'll look into that. But I'll just I'll just say it to you. Uh he he ended with now fulfill your promises to me and Astaroth. Um, Did you get anything guys. before that? What have you got so far? I got. I, I have written down ritual is now complete, and then it started to cut. In okay, and out. the ritual is mm -hmm. now complete. You now you now possess power of untold magnitude from places you could not even find yourself. Damn. Damn it! I'm so disappointed okay. in that. I know. I'm so sorry. I got you. It's good. <laughs> it sounded it cool. Cool. I'm also like listening. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, well, we'll see if this one works because uh, with this next voice talking, you will actually see the eye sort of floating back and forth between the two of them. Is it a different voice? It's actively, oh, great. It appears your company and your next test has arrived. <gasps> and both of them uh, are going to turn around and look at the two of you. The two of you, the all of you. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, oh, wait, wait, which two? The two of them are going to look at the all of you. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh. You can all see this, right? The map? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are able to see a familiar, a two familiar looking men. The very two who came to get the body of Astaroth after you had that encounter. One of them. Now dream the one who wielded a sword along with magic has his left hand completely mutilated it looks mummified and as if it was just literally just now stitched onto his arm the other has a tremendous scar across his face on the left hand side Oh, I know what I've got. No eyelids, eyeball, just staring intensely at all nope. of you. I don't want can it. I, I, I can can I make a religion check because me Logan knows what this knows <laughs> what know it that is. Pretty much everybody at like the table very... is gonna know what this means. But... I know. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I know what it means, but I'm probably you wrong. Yeah. I mean, I... So much history of the D and Ds. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Fair. Fair. I yeah. don't I'm gonna forget. see what your guesses are, though. I'm very curious. Yeah, I want to know, know what you guys. No, I'm not, I don't want to guess. I mean, no, I, what are you I was assuming. I, was I know assuming about one very our... big, big, spooky ass hand that like exists in the lore. <laughs> That's the probably it. And I'm pretty sure it's, it's probably ass hand. You're, you're probably right. It's I know what Netflix TV right shows hand. you've been watching, Juice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 I, will, I will honestly say though, the first Easter egg for this uh, appeared before I knew that this season, uh, this well, yeah, no one season knew. was season about four. Yeah. the guy. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I, this was already actually in the works on my end before Netflix the, did it. The same thing happened if to I me in my home my game. Right now, I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, do you know? Well, I mean, now that you've brought it up, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, at any rate, um, they immediately attack. We need to roll initiative. Jesus Holy Asian. shit. Like, run, Can I get a second beer? We're going to die. Oh, I'm still at, I'm still at a disadvantage. So, <laughs> fuck. Oh, oh right. disadvantage. Uh, it can't be worse than a four again, oh, right? Like, it can't be worse than that. We're going to die. Yeah. I got a good one, I think. Why? God, why? <laughs> Guys, I'm a... When I, I just wanted was, to sleep! When I said this was going to be a big session, I said this was going to uh, be a big session. God. We're dying, guys. Okay, just, I've accepted it. Um, no, yes. we're not fucking dying. That's not allowed anymore, folks. I know it's not allowed, but oh, it is with the 22 shit. Yeah, let's go. I don't know how to handle that. I'm like Get processing it already. I'm just like. Initiative Cal 15. I'm dreading. I'm dreading the possibility of any natural ones. We're gonna be fine. 
I have stupid ideas, so they're not gonna work. But we're at, they're stupid. So oh, I left go. out a humongous detail. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm so sorry. It's okay, so sorry. You... We distracted you heavily. Upon <laughs> arri- I was so caught up in the descriptions of everything. Upon arriving, you experience the benefits of a long rest. Right now, oh. we're going to say, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Thank God. God. Yeah. Wait, everybody roll as many as you can. So <laughs> I'm not taking the disadvantage rolls, uh, whirl. You have a 22, not an 11. Oh, that's rude. I don't know what to fucking do with that. But, but why? Because you're not disadvantaged anymore? Because you had a long rest. <laughs> because we had a right. long rest. It removes a level of exhaustion, right? Right, so I still yeah. have one level of exhaustion, which is still disadvantaged. Oh, it's so right. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. the second one is movement, right? Yep. Yeah, my bad. Uh, <laughs> like, that doesn't... Away. No, I... <laughs> sorry. That does not uh, You're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not deafened anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, did I cast anything more? I haven't been deafened for a while. So everybody, yeah, everybody make sure you got the long rest stuff taken care of. No deafen, one level of exhaustion removed. All your spells are restored, oh, HP max, long everything. Rest. Oh, long rest. Oh, thank God. Fucking, I thought it was a short rest. Long rest is cool. Long rest right, is what you that. did in the cave. Uh, yeah. The, or sorry, short rest is what you did in the cave. It, it's essentially part of what, uh, uh, what the angel did uh, yeah. when oh, angel so okay. bringing oh, you here. I'll take that. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thank Bless you, Templar. Jesus Thank H. Christ. This I now we gotta actual, find maybe. him. But mm-hmm. now we gotta fucking find <laughs> him. We're gonna... Oh, we can, are it. you kidding? We're also, geniuses. We're geniuses. I, <laughs> We're also find his ass. I want to make sure... <laughs> I, I, I want to clarify this just just before we get like in case we get desperate. I want to clarify this before so I know if I have this back leg to stand on. Um, uh, my I'm assuming my channel divinity or not my channel divinity. My uh, divine intervention didn't reset because the day didn't pass. The day did weird. not pass, but if it specifies long rest, that overrides it. Dope. I'll it's, check. It's either case. day or long rest. It, it's it usually one in the same. Day. Day. Yeah, the bed is day. It's okay. like I think it's like reset the dawn. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll check. It's okay. a little funky. You uh, check that. Uh, what's divine that intervention. Oh no, I'm looking at. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Otherwise, you uh, can use it again after a long rest. A long rest. Long rest. Yeah. Long rest. <laughs> All right. Let's um, work these fuckers and erase a bunch of shit from my is, book. These guys are coming at you, and it's very clear. What would you like to do? Uh, you know, for shits and gigs, I'm just gonna like move over here, <laughs> kind of like nope, right here, so I can actually see them. Uh, and I haven't done this yet, this time. So I'm gonna do my bonus action, get down into like uh, on the knee position to do my steady aim. And then, uh, you know, pull a arrow out of my cool, cool quiver and use my sick little crossbow. Uh, are they both, like, at the same distance? Like, they haven't quite moved yet? They're just still chilling right there? Right, yeah. I always describe it like, imagine the, like, Final Fantasy-esque, uh, you know, t- uh, JRPGs where it's like, they do a lunge animation and then you're in combat. Okay. Doing your turns, it's like that. Hey, right, uh, I'm gonna target Mr. Big B here. Which one has the hand and which one has the eye shit? Uh, Elminster has the hand, Big B has the eye. Of course he eye. does. Mm-hmm. Tight. Uh, cool, yeah, then I'm gonna target Big B's eye. Uh, here's to hit with advantage. The legendary eye. Please be good. 18. 18. Oh. Uh, you will see him in response to you shooting this crossbow bolt give a swipe of his staff and your crossbow bolt will bounce off of him as he casts, well he casts a spell mm-hmm. in reaction. Is anybody going to do anything about that? Counter spell. Okay. Yeah! Level four. <laughs> okay. Um, Let me do some measuring real quick. I have a... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to... Does this look like a shield spell? It does look like a shield spell. Uh, Very cool. Four, um, so... Yup, so uh, he tries to swipe and you'll see this energy start to emanate, but Whirl reacts and... I'm gonna go, nope! Poof, it, like, uh, it dissipates as if like a hand just swatted through water and you will hit. Cool, okay, so here's the damage. It's gonna include sneak attack. Uh, so that's 18. Here's the 2d8. This is fire damage. Well, that's only one. Excuse me. Here's the second one. 
So that's an additional eight fire damage. And I would also like to use my whales from the grave so that I can uh, include my uh, sneak attack damage to uh, Mr. Deuterface right next to them. Uh, which is, Ooh, yeah. it's only 1d6, yeah, bro. so uh, it's probably not great. Eight. Oh, it's six! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. So, so that's, uh, So 18 yeah. to the one, and then six, sorry, 18 plus five plus three to Bigby, and then six to Elminster? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Five plus three is 20. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then six. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, just a note that is is struggling to hold on to the crossbow. That is it. That's my turn. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, Big B's coming up. There, fuck there. Fuck you, Big B. Music is real good. Yeah. Do you recognize it? Yes. Do you remember when yes. I used it? Hang on, I have it written down. I have it written yes! down. Yes! <laughs> one second, one second, one second. I love this for us. Give me a bit. It's going to take a second. That's okay. The Alex Mayhem. No, I have a, that's probably I have not it. Feeling, but Surprise, it's from the on. very first boss fight. What if, though? Like, what if? What if yeah. it was, I would explain. I mean, I mean, listen. What if? It might be before I started writing down the music, but we'll see. Come on. Eh. Was, Back in October guys, of last it, year. Come was on. Was it from your guys' session zero? I would. No. All of, that all would of be... you were here for it's this. Mm. Okay. What's it called? Point of exit. Which is wild. Come on. It'll I've be been a minute. fucking tricking us with song titles this whole time. If you don't find it, I'll tell you, but I kind of want to find it. Okay. I kind of want to find it. Because, like, I have, I have like, things, like, highlighted, so, like... Yeah. Right, because you want to like, use them. Yeah, because I want to use them. They're dope as hell, but it's also, like, kind of cool moments and shit. I'm also okay with this being a, a stalling moment since both Sam and Joe had to go with, with Carla for a moment. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. I will also be right back because I did not take enough time off. BRB. Okay. <laughs> I might not have gotten it. I think I only started writing down the music. Yeah, I don't think I did. Damn it. Uh, so I definitely it's... recognize it, though. Mm-hmm. What was it from? Fairly early-ish. Fairly early-ish. Damn it. Uh, that's not a very good helping description. Um, no, it's okay. Yeah, I think the first time I wrote down uh, the music was... How deep into the conspiracy were we? Not very. First time I did it was uh, Halloween of last year. So every session prior to then, uh, I had meant to, but didn't put two and two together that I could. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween of last year was. Um, I will reveal it once everybody is back. Um, Perfect. But oh, you're going to see Big I'm Write it down now. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, Bigby's gonna cast a spell, actually, so I should wait for Andrea anyway. Okay. So, re so recently I put... Hold on, who's here? Because I'm gonna say the thing. Okay. So, yeah, recently I put the, uh, both the hand and the eye of Vecna are in my, uh, are in my homebrew game. Really? And I, like, yeah, I, like, put them in view, just, like, to put them there so, like, I could say, no, look, this is where this artifact was. Um, and like one of my, one of my players, uh, she was playing a ranger, which is like, I'm going to steal the, I'm going to steal that eye over there on the, yeah. on the counter. Oh shit. And I was like, yeah, like, rolled, okay. got it. Yeah. Rolled, I got it so. all the way through. Um, and she was, a, <laughs> she was also playing a changeling. So she, by the time she got the eye, they had, uh, they had gotten onto a ship and were completely alone. So, uh, they ended up shifting into a person without an eye which made sense for their like the backstory that they had which i'm upset that it worked out that well <laughs> nice. it into a person without a left eye put it in and i was like you're gonna take damage because your eye still is there in your real form mm -hmm. um, they like Lisa Lopez? <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you I guys got you did she like torch her fucking boyfriend's house 
kind of. Also, not a fact her. about Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Anyway. <laughs> that isn't. I promise the olds in the group are going to think that joke's amazing. Yeah. It's okay, great. So, it's so, great. Andrea, since you're back here, the only one who has counterspell, Bigby is going to begin casting a spell. I have counterspell too. Oh, sorry. I've already, I've, I've already, I've already counterspelled on my turn, so I can't. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, I would do it. it. You're gonna do it? Okay. Yeah, yeah you got them spell um, thoughts back, baby. Uh, yeah. What level are you counterspelling at? It has to be fifth level, because that's all you girl got. Okay, you will need to roll that arcana check, please. Arcana check. Is it an arcana? I think it's, I thought it was with your spellcasting modifier. I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to murk you if you're arcana in the uh, entire, but I'm, I'm under the impression it's your spellcasting modifier. I might be recalling that incorrectly myself. DC equals 10 plus the spells level and uh, uh, does it say you make a spell attack or you make a check? Like you attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell if the creature is casting a spell third level or lower, the spell fails or it has no effect. If it's casting a spell fourth level or higher, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it is yeah, so straight with your That's uh, my wisdom modifier. Mm-hmm. Or no, charisma. Yeah, charisma, sorry. it should be. It is, yeah. Which I'm hoping for you is higher than your Arcana. Uh, it is. <laughs> See? Yeah. You're welcome. Yes, it is. So it's just a, like, straight charisma check? Yes, basically. Okay. Yeah. But it's an ability check, which is my, why mine are a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Right. And includes your upcast to see if you beat... Damn. Fuck. Well, it was a 15. I mean... It's better than what my Arcana would have been, which is a plus two. Fucker. I know what uh, he's doing, and I don't like you it. you upcast it, so what does that do to... You can upcast oh, it to fifth, it's, so it's fifth technically it should have lower. been fifth, but yeah. If if you upcast it and it still doesn't meet it, you have to, I believe you have to make your ability check to still oh, be higher. Oh, so upcasting right. only affects the guaranteed win, right. not the roll. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and you uh, rolled the same. Yeah. Because of course. And plus the spell's level. Okay, you attempt to counterspell and it does not succeed. Damn. Um, Fuck. He is going to swirl Pardon around me. himself. Uh, sorry, he's going to actually move this way a bit first. Kind of, but you, wrong way. That way. Walk did, this way. Um, yes. And <laughs> swirl around so himself. This way. You're going to see. <laughs> Steven Tyler. My mouth wasn't big enough for that to make sense. Ah. <laughs> there. Um, get the reference. Thank you. <laughs> He's going friends. to become wreathed in a massive area of flames. Oh, coward. So. <laughs> I've been a little bitch. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of like Red Dead uh, role play, so my confidence level What's is like this? fucking through the roof. What oh, the hell yeah. is this? Excuse me? Is, uh, I said massive, I meant massive. It's sure a did. bad idea. That's that a is, nuclear explosion. Yep. That is a that is his uh breathing of flames around himself, and you can see that it is not affecting Elminster in any way. Um I... we have not also done much since bubble. you guys left. Uh we we had some conspiracy theorizing theorizing, and uh now I get to reveal that the familiar music was first used in uh when you joined forces with Renwick for the first time. <gasps> Let's Go! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, and joined forces with. Oh, so when he was like, when he was like loud speaking, like you fuckers like, get better fuck get out, out or I'm gonna yep. kill you all. Yeah. And then did his badass armor from the walls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wonder oh, if this boy. is. Uh, <laughs> is it related? Is this a warning? <laughs> yes. I mean, I do love a good hint. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 That's yep. all. That's how my body is doing right now. <laughs> I'm so glad I took that eighth level spell. It's. <laughs> yep. So glad. Um, like have eight you're going to see uh, Elminster now <laughs> slap his hands together. And this is not a spell, but he slaps his hands okay. together and basically slides them along an invisible line in opposite directions. Mm. You'll see him essentially conjure a black flaming version of the sword that you've seen before. Take it in hand, give it a quick floral. Flail, whirl, something like that. Floral. I like floral. I think floral. 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 I'm gonna write that yeah. down. Hashtag floral. floral. Um, like floral. A quick plural. And he's starting to run this way directly at you guys, like full bore. That's gross. Great. Um, you can get Riley back. It is your turn. Okay. Um, remind me what the uh, red is again, GM. The red is a 
basically sphere of flames that's surrounding him. Like, uh, okay. It's like Sephiroth's intro, but it's always following him. He's a hamster Terrible ball of shit. fire. Yep. Um, and he just teleported there. Um, well, I, well, I mean, I technically never ended my rage, <laughs> but it's, it's been a long time though. How long can you rage? Yeah, I thought technically, yeah, for if you're minute. not hit for six seconds, your rage ends. Yeah, six seconds. Um, the last thing I got at my wonderful level up is persistent rage. My oh. rage ends early only if I fall unconscious or if I choose to end it. Let's oh. fucking go. Oh, you're just okay. constantly, you're just constantly so angry. That's, that's, the, that's the his secret. Of a He's rest, always angry. Not go unconscious I'm always. for it, so I'm counting it. Hell yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's my secret. I'm always better, angry. Guys. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm always angry right now. Um, I mean, it's it's going to be the same effect because as I uh, move up here, um, now I feel comfortable trying this out with a... Uh, give me, let him do a, a dexterity save there save okay uh i suppose it's just, it's just saying yeah it's a saving throw yes uh the one with gm in the title so eight eight is going to fail so yeah. we are at level 15 i'm gonna roll this one yeah. Oh. Bro. Fuck you. Oh. I like wow. three d six, and I get a six <laughs> out of that. Wow. Two a one and a three. Good job. Literally um, a third. Well, six, uh, and that is lightning damage. Okay. Um. God, and you know what? Just because I feel like it, I feel like I wasted it on the last one. And I don't want to do it now. Uh, let's let's have another dexterity save. Another one. Ooh. Okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> eight will fail again as. Uh, Kel's barfs all over him. He takes yes. uh, 15 acid damage. Um, and... Fifteen necrotic damage, I suppose, as part of the power of shadows that I got. Adam. Okay. Yeah. Using that, he's going to. You're gonna. You're gonna see some effect. And he'll. He's kind of like doing this in response. Uh, you know, just try to block some of the blow. But then realizing what you just did, <sighs> he's going to turn and smile at you and say. Oh. You'd use my own magic against me. You who are this, you? Wait, was this Elminster or Big B? Because I don't remember which one's which. This is Elminster. You wait, 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 wait! Motherfucker! <laughs> it's the same magic that Iz has. It's their magic, and he's using it against him. For the love of Christ, right now. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? I'll use whatever I deem necessary to end your nightmares. And I'll end my turn. Nice. Uh, Taryn. Oh shit, Iz wasn't here for that. I know. <laughs> no. Can we uh, just like, is it, rewind is it my turn? I'll do like a fake rewind. Heard it. Yeah. Heard it. Oh, you heard it. <laughs> I had the stream on my phone oh, so I could nice. listen. <laughs> Did you freak Cal out made a cool Kevin line while you were getting your snack? <laughs> Yeah, more or less. And I heard the line of okay, the, good. you use my power against me, which is fucking what Astaroth said, and just yes. like, lose my yeah. mind. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, great. So, oh. Taryn, you're up. <laughs> Remember when I said bombshell yell. episode? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go, guys. I don't know what to do right now. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna yell, guys, we need to go. I'm just gonna start booking it this direction. Um, we get 30 Excellent. feet away. And I measured this out. So I'm 60, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. What, how's the lighting right now? Uh, I mean, allegedly we can see everything. You can see everything, yeah. yeah you can, there's okay. magical so light of various kinds everywhere. Magical light of various, various Bless kinds. Bless your heart, thank you. Cool. So. <laughs> so, I'm going to attempt to cast a spell. Ooh, um. Big B will counter spell. Okay, what level? It's going to just be third. He needs to roll. Oof. <laughs> no okay, counter spell. Fails. Uh, there's a massive fucking earthquake happening right over in this area. Ooh. Um. It's a 100 foot radius, which is bonkers, I believe. It's a, we're going crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 100 foot radius, uh, centered on a point. I'm just going to put it as far in this, like, corner as possible. It's going to still, like, get people on our side, but it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to end right there on this line. Um, oh, everyone but, but the cleric. Right, but, uh, so we need, is it? But I just or? died. No, you're fine. It's the rest <laughs> no, we're of us that are having a hard time. No, you, you guys will be fine because, uh, what do we need? What do we need to happen? Uh, so ground becomes difficult terrain. Uh, nobody's concentrating yet, which is great. Um, cool. Let the, so I'm going to end my turn with this uh, I, I'll use my bonus action to bring my shield out I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end my turn here and everybody in that area needs to make a deck saving throw or just be knocked from cool dope awesome Whew. What was the spell again? Did you guys catch it? Er, he cat. He earth, made an earthquake. It's earthquake. Oh, it's just what? earthquake. The spell. Yep. Okay. I pinged it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank was you. Was that? It still hit all of us and also uh, Yolanta, correct? Yep. Wrong so, on that? Great. Right. Everybody um, except Gert and Taryn. Right. right. Um. However, it's just so everybody needs to make a deck saving throw or be knocked prone. Um. However, um, there will be an additional effect uh, that Juice gets to choose, which is, I don't know why I didn't ping, but I'll just copy and paste those um, into the Roll20 chat. Okay. Um, Elminster will respond by casting a spell. I think we both used our reactions, so we're SOL. Okay. Um, and you can see his feet leave the ground right in front of Cal, uh, just as the shaking starts. Bigby, however, has used his reaction. So deck save is going to be an eight. So he falls prone. Yep. Doink. OK. Oh. Whirl and Gert are also prone. Or Whirl and uh, Cal are also prone. Well, would I have known? Would I have known what was happening as it was happening? I.e., uh -huh. am I doing this at advantage? Would you say? Um, it's. I'm not going to say it's effect you can see because it's just an earthquake happening, and you're facing Elminster, so you didn't see him cast the spell behind you. Oh wait, then I'm prone. Okay. Um, I'm finding the rest of the spell to see if it specified. Um, so yeah, uh, the spell can have additional effects uh, and then the two that it gives are the ones that I just sent in that chat. Oh, yes. In the, in the role point. Um, actually, 
you would expect so, one of those effects uh, to I happen. I think you get to pick which of those starts to happen. Yep, you would expect one of those effects to happen, but quickly realize that none of them are. Great, okay. Awesome. So that would have to be my turn. That's so you just knocked two of us from. Well, it was going to be more than that, but... Uh... <laughs> Up. Uh, world's turn, then Gert. Cool, I'm gonna go, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> and then stand up. Um, I had no plans, which is a problem. Um, uh, I'm going to say to Elminster is the gentleman who's closest to me? Yes. Um, I'm going to say, you know, I'm getting really fucking tired of all of your guys' bullshit, and that's an unsettling word, so the next thing that happens, he's going to have to subtract a d10 from. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna chaos bolt him at fifth level. Oh, fuck, that's not a save, lies. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to instead, uh... Shit, I have nothing good, and I was not paying attention, and I was grumpy about falling over. Uh, so instead, I will. Uh, cast. I'll bane him. Uh, charisma save of 18, but he has to subtract a d4. Or a d10. Ooh, doesn't need it. Great. What Amazing. Happened? Well, he's super fucking vain. So <laughs> I will not forget that. And yes, this is a direct D4 from any attack while we're saving through. Okay. For like an amount of time. A whole minute. Great. That's my turn because I've got nothing. And I'll, I'm standing now, so I'm no longer prone. <laughs> okay, Gert. Is on deck. So, um, because Gert is still having an existential crisis <laughs> she is going to cast welcome. beacon of hope welcome to on... the existential crisis team my <laughs> guy <laughs> beacon of hope on everyone because she's no one else is allowed to fucking die um so yeah so uh y'all get advantage on wisdom saves and death saves and regain maximum number of hit points from possible healing okay um so i cast that and then uh fuck it let's try a shove uh <laughs> And I cast telekinetic shove on this asshole. <laughs> Ooh, 15. Uh, okay, so here's a question that I have. So, you always say meets it beats it, right? <laughs> but when, I feel like sometimes when we meet a thing, it beats us. <laughs> so is it always the advantage of the bad guy? No, it's always meets it, beats it, but you've had several encounters where you get close enough that a reaction from the other guy or someone else would give them enough of a boost to make it not work. So is like, a, the, like a shield spell or a parry, things like so that. So is it meets it, beats it the defender? It's always the offender. If you meet the DC of the okay. defender, then you succeed in your attempted thing. So then in this case, this, the offender would be Gert and would beat, would meet and beat uh, the straight Offending save. is poor wording on my part. Right. They ha the, the person who has to make a check of any kind against a DC, okay. if, if the person checking meets the DC they beat or, or in, okay. and in the case of attack the DC is the AC the armor class so uh -huh. can we write that check... down yeah absolutely um, great so an attack like if I'm attacking someone and I meet their AC I succeed in right. attacking but on the defensive side if I have to make a save against something you're attacking me with if I meet the DC as the saver 
I succeed in saving. It's, okay, so it's, it's like, like, that's not uh, always been that way. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, well, so if, if it's an mistake, attack roll, I apologize, but fair. I, it's always been the case. Yeah. Okay. So if it's an attack roll, and they are attacking us, mm -hmm. and they roll a seventeen to hit, and that hits my AC, then they hit me. Yes. So it's the, the okay. person doing the rolling is the person that needs to beat it. Correct. Okay. Great. Yes. I'll take Thank that. Thank you. I love yes. that. Pod. Sorry. Again, the pod goes every, to the roller. every yes. time Great. it happens, I like, I go back and forth. I'm like, should I say <laughs> something about this? Because I'm still a little bit confused <laughs> on this rule. Okay. So it's, a, yeah, Great. it's always the person rolling, checking against the person they're rolling against. Awesome. Um, Copy that. This. Well, yeah. then he doesn't get pushed. <laughs> Does he get flipped off by the middle finger of and, the hand of the Disney hand? And if you ever believe I make a mistake on that front, absolutely say something because I'm not going to claim that I never make a mistake. Um, yeah, but sure. that is supposed to be consistently the rule. No, and again, I think it was more like when they were rolling and they met our our you know, charisma, they won. And then when they were rolling and they met our AC, they won. And I was like, how? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how are they always the winner? <laughs> you, you are not incorrect. I have wondered this too. And great. I'm like, we'll figure it out eventually. Great, 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 great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're both the okay. two tiny baby players. Like we won't fucking yes. know shit. Yes. <laughs> we have been doing this for two fucking years and yeah. we're still. Well, we're like, we're like a, a session away from two year anniversary. So like high five friends. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. So anything else for your turn then? Nope. That's it. That's all for me. All right. We're back I'm up gonna to stay is. put. Oops. Back up to is. Okay. Uh, free action. Hey, DM, can we, like, cosplay <laughs> as our characters for another session again? Absolutely. We, oh, Sick. I need okay, some cool. time to plan that, but yeah. That's fine. That's fine. There might be a photo have... involved. Anyway. I think I still have my costume from last year. I have, I I have, ex I have extra costume bag. pieces. That's a problem. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I might be buying a dulcimer for, like, reasons. Anyway. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Cool, 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 cool. Uh, shit, what are we gonna do? Nickelodeon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I am going to move a little bit. Let's see if I have 10, 15, 20. Wait, do I go in there? No. Are you serious? You wanna go in there? It's hot. I do not. Absolutely <laughs> do not. Absolutely do not. Uh, can I hit him? Son of a bitch. I go in there. So if I you hit mm, nope. him. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna cast a spell. Go for it. Okay. Uh, uh, gonna try and cast a witch bolt here. Try not to do any cool flavory things because it probably won't hit. Oh, totally oh, to hit. I, did. Hit. I would appreciate you not being so uh, uh, degra <laughs> degrading. Words are hard. Uh, of my friend. Not very cash money of you. Yeah. There's, there's no cider. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. It, it just feels like friend. a. <laughs> it feels yeah, like it, a, a, a luck thing. Friend, like, but worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time I'm like, cool flavor thing, it just never works. So I'm just like, do I do, I that, do it? That's why I said the flavor thing after our <laughs> cool, 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 Every cool, time cool. you describe something, it gets followed by, but it misses. Oh. So the witch bolt does Absolutely. Hit. Sick. Okay, uh, so here's the damage as uh, just a bunch of cool blue lightning a la Palpatine just like sparks from her hands towards this man's uh, 30 lightning damage. And I'm feeling one it? pretty good. Uh, yes, to like... your okay. big bean. And did you, like... did you go to this spot? I did. Because I wouldn't be able to reach it oh. otherwise. It's okay. Okay. Hot. So you're going to take. Ow! Ow! Five fire damage. Okay. Wow. By because stepping into the five, ten, sphere 15, of 20. flames that's wreathing around. Can I actually, I only used 20 feet of my movement. Could I have gone here instead? Yep. It's an additional 10 feet. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to stay as close to him as I can. Um, I think that's all I can do right now. So you girls done with her turn. Okay. Um, 
we are going to get to this guy. He's gonna cross his arms and then give like a double, uh, double-fisted punch in the air, and you'll see him, poof, uh, wreathed in black spell. and purple <laughs> smoke and flame. This is not a spell. Fuck you! Um, this black is black and purple flames. God damn mm -hmm, it! This is an ability that he has. Oh, he's um, aesthetic. And he'll get back to right here. Um, Let's fucking go. Everyone. Mm is gonna take three fire damage Damn. as the flames erupt around. Um, and he's going to touch Elminster on the shoulder and attempt to cast a spell. Now I'm going to cast counter spell. Okay, what level? Six. Okay, you will cancel Power play. the effect yeah. as, he's, yeah. as he begins casting a spell here and he's gonna look at you and just give you a little smirk. Um, now we're on Elminster who's going to go into this absolute flurry for a second. Um, he's gonna swing at Cal twice with this flaming sword. Uh, 19 and a 21. Yes and yes. Okay. It's gonna be three and four magical piercing damage. and one and four necrotic damage. And then he's going to blink, like in a very intentional way. Again, not a spell. And reappear right here. D disappear Mother. and reappear right here. Fucker. And all of this is with like poofs of this black smoke and flame um, and swing at Gert two more times. Uh, 21 and a 20. Those hit you, Gert? Okay. So you're gonna get 10 piercing damage. And total of 16 necrotic damage. And then, something odd will happen. You'll see the flames on Elminster's sword completely dissipate into nothing. And the aura around Bigby disappear. Oh, and that music ended at a good time. I love it when that happens. It's great. Mm -hmm. We're going back to this. Um, you're going to see the eye that's been sitting uh, in. I pointed at the screen like you can see it. Uh, <laughs> I do that all the time. Yes, right here. The eye you see it? That's been you, guys, the spot, you guys right, right there. there. Yeah. All of you guys. The <laughs> eye that's been watching this entire time um, dissipates with a strike of lightning from like the ceiling as if it just came from the ceiling itself. And at that same moment of impact, you'll hear this boom and this dome of light blue energy appears at the altar. Very familiar. Uh, you will see both Elminster and Bigby get sucked in by an unseen force. And I don't have a token for this, I apologize, but a great black dragon appears at the altar. Mm -mm. With a very familiar scar across its face at one point, another across its leg at another. These would be the points that Taryn and Iz had inflicted wounds. Oh, he's this much shit? bigger than you remember. And his skin and scales have all shriveled down to almost nothing onto his bones. And he's sporting a giant red ruby down the sternum of his chest. Oh, no. The time has come, my apprentices. We manifest my plan now. Oh, And in a flash of blue, they all disappear where they once stood. Fuck. That's where we will end the session what today. What the shit does that mean? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was something about a fucking gem. God damn it. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. 
<laughs> I don't know how to feel other than <sighs> deep despair fear. and fear. Yeah. Whirlwind awesome. episode. I was very nervous for all of this. It was um, so good and fun. <laughs> you had no reason to be nervous. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. No, no, nervous in the uh, d don't miss anything. And I think the only thing I missed was the uh, effects of a long, long rest, rest thing, thing. which <laughs> was inconsequential. You got it eventually. You figured it out. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's good, yeah. I was, I was ready to like try and murk some guys with like eight spells. <laughs> like left. three spells, yeah. 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 Eldritch yeah. Blast, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I mean, I had like six, sure, I had six and seven blast. still available. So I was like, blast. fine. Okay. Uh, Amazing. well, for stream, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye, um, stream. And, and for next stream, we're still figuring out if we're getting back on the normal schedule. So keeping an eye on Twitter is the best way to do that. Um, but we'll see you in somewhere about two weeks or so. Like Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, 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 everybody.